when you start your university year, there will be in-person teaching alongside online classes. If you are attending in-person teaching, there are some simple steps to take that will make it as safe as possible for everyone. Before entering the building, please remember to wear your face covering. And of course, if you think you may have COVID-19 symptoms, you must stay at home and follow the advice on the Student Hub about what to do if you feel unwell. This includes filling out the university's symptoms reporting form. Students will be asked not to wait in corridors outside rooms and should wait outside buildings until class starts. At busy times, you may find there are campus ambassadors outside to help make sure that not too many people are entering at once. There may also be designated socially distanced waiting areas indicated by floor signage to ensure we keep campus pathways free of crowds. On your way to your class, new signage will help you move across campus more safely. We are entering one of our lecture theatres. Please visit the sanitising station where there will be hand sanitizer for you to use, as well as wipes for you to use on your desk. As you enter, you'll already be wearing your face covering, but make sure it's covering your nose and mouth. You can use all sorts of coverings, such as masks or bandanas, unless you are exempt. Students come in through the back and the seating has been marked to create a socially distanced layout. Whilst we're asking you not to bring food into the classroom, bottled drinks are fine. Just make sure you reseal them and replace your face covering after drinking. And don't share them. At the end of class in this lecture theatre, the exit takes everyone away from the entrance, so students arriving for the next lecture won't pass you as you leave. Where this is not possible, there will be signage telling you how to enter and exit the room safely. We have also made sure there is enough time between lectures to limit crossover. We've been keeping on top of the latest government advice and we'll be continuously updating how we're doing things. We want to welcome you to Sussex.